Please welcome former chair and CEO of American Express and current chair and managing director of General Catalyst, Ken Chenault. My fellow Americans, for 17 years, I ran American Express, one of the greatest companies in this country. America has thousands of great companies, more than any other nation in the world. And that's not by accident. The United States is the best place in the world to do business because of the values on which our country was built. Democracy, the rule of law, free and fair elections, the peaceful transfer of power. As a business leader, I have seen firsthand why democracy is so important. Democracy provides the foundation upon which American business and our economy depend. Character and values matter. In business, nothing is more important than trust. In America, we have to trust our president will protect democracy. We have to be certain they'll follow the law and serve the nation, not themselves. Business requires stability and certainty that our democracy will endure. Our economy and democracy are tightly linked. Both only grow stronger when Americans despite our differences, are willing to work together. At this moment, when our politics pits one group against another, that's what's remarkable about Kamala Harris. She is for all Americans. She understands it's possible, in fact necessary, for a president to be both pro-business and pro-worker. Kamala Harris understands that government must work in partnership with the business community. She knows that a market-based economy needs a strong and effective government. Kamala Harris understands that we need to help entrepreneurs turn good ideas into thriving companies, that we can create good-paying jobs by helping manufacturers expand. Kamala Harris believes in growing the economic pie for the benefit of current and future generations. Unlike her opponent, she knows the way not to build an advanced economy is a broad tariff that would only raise prices hurt consumers and businesses, and cost jobs. She knows the way not to do it is to give people like me a tax cut when that money should be invested to grow the middle class. If you want to lead, you have to be willing to serve. Kamala Harris's vision for the economy serves us all. She has demonstrated throughout her career that she wants to serve all people and wants all Americans to have the opportunity to work to achieve their own share of the American dream. Our economy goes up and down, but the reason America is the strongest nation in the world is because of her commitment to something bigger than ourselves our commitment to each other, to democracy. That's what this election is about. It's more than a choice between two parties or sets of policies. It's a choice about who we're going to be as a country. In his words and actions, Kamala Harris's opponent has shown us that he does not believe in our democratic values and he will seek only to serve himself and his desire for vindication and vengeance. 
Kamala Harris will face the facts. She will navigate this country, the greatest country in the world, through the inevitable challenges, while also leading with the hope and values that America was founded on. Kamala Harris understands that the role of a leader is to instill hope, to repudiate the merchants of fear, and focus on ensuring that the best days are ahead of us. She believes in America, its principles, the hopes and dreams of our people, and the promise of our future. That is why I believe Kamala Harris should be the next President of the United States of America. God bless America.